The modern world is all about technology. The connected, smart and autonomous devices have all transformed human lives like never before. The way we live, the way we go about our work, the way we communicate have all transformed because of the technology infusion and adoption in our day-to-day -day life. Digital technologies have come to stay and will be dominating our future. Every year at Cocoon, we come forth and demonstrate new technology that is changing our world. Last year, it was the world of robotics and how robotics is changing policing. This year, we have come with the magical world of AR, VR technology. So sit back and look at the beautiful, amazing world of VR technology that is before you. Who is this? Why don't you introduce yourselves? I'm Pointer. Closer Pointer. I'm here to stop cyber crimes. Kerala Police has created me in the digital space to educate and communicate with people. Thank you. Now time and again, we have been asked the question, why this Cocoon Conference? Cocoon, as you all know, is a covering of an insect, a protective covering of an insect. Here at Cocoon, what we do for the past many editions of this conference is to build a protective cover for the cyber digital world. Because as every coin has two sides, with the growth in technology has grown the evils of the cyber world, which has even threatened the basic existence of human beings. The dangers that lurks between the bits and bytes of the digital system cannot be ignored any longer. Now at the global stage, we are faced with a world of perpetual cyber attacks. If you look at the digital cyber map, you will find that the attacks are rampant and comes forth from one country to the other. The cyber, the cyber attack in Estonia a few years back is a stark example of what damage cyber attacks can do to a country. The constant cyber attacks faced by the US power grids, the attacks on the power systems, the industrial establishments, oil installations have all become rampant and are capable of crippling the economy of a country. On an individual level also, it is possible to hijack a car remotely and the hacker can make it crash or do anything. It is also possible to hack into an airplane through the music system and make it do what you want. You can damage the system. It is possible to hijack IoT devices and that's one of the major threats. Now then there are banks which are the most targeted entities in the world today for obvious reasons because that is where all the money is. In Kerala also a few years back we had the example of the Romanian hackers coming in and putting in fake keypads into our ATM machines by which they got a lot of idea details and pin details by which they could steal the money of a lot of customers in Kerala. Data is now money and so attacks on servers are also rampant. Every organization is a likely organization to be hacked. Total cyber security has just become a total myth. Cyber security is a constant cat and mouse game and it is in this context that this conference of Cocoon becomes so very relevant. This conference can be recognized as a platform where experts, industrial experts, ethical hackers and government officials come together to share their insights on the current threats and problems in the digital world. Kerala Police has always emphasized on the five Ps the political leadership, the police, the press, the private, and the public sector. Because all these five Ps have to come together to ensure cyber security. Cocoon is, offers a platform where these five people come together or five stakeholders come together to build a secure cyber world. Cocoon started 12 years back and we have come a long way. The first edition of this conference had only 100 local participants, but it helped in setting up the rules and regulations for the further editions. Today at this conference, we have around 1,800 delegates attending from 40-odd countries. Over the years, we have deliberated on all the latest topics in technology. And today also, we come forth with the latest in the digital world. This year, we are particularly concentrating on the dark net, the underworld of all crime, where all the banned substances like credit card details, drugs, arms, uh, and all kinds of stuff are available on payment. Then we'll also be deliberating on artificial intelligence and robotics and how this can be used 
for policing and for better service delivery to the citizens. And as you see on screen, we will also be looking at augmented reality and virtual reality, which is changing the world and how this can be used for investigation, for crowd control and basic policing. We are also looking at drones and how these drones can be dangerous because as we saw recently in Saudi Arabia where drones were used to bomb the oil fields of Aramco. We'll also look at how drones can be useful in general policing and in disaster management. We assure you that you have a lot in store for you at Cocoon this year. Finally, on behalf of the Cocoon Organizing Committee and on behalf of Kerala Police, I want to welcome all our distinguished delegates, all our friends from the media, all the partners that are participating in this conference, all the ethical hackers, all the government officials from all around the country. We welcome you to this edition of Cocoon. Welcome to God's own country and I am sure that you are going to go from this conference more enriched, more equipped to meet the demands of the cyber security world. Thank you and have a great conference.